Hello! <laughs> we are live on a Friday! And we've got an Ezio boy as our desk cat tonight. <laughs> My name is Andy Sleuth 22 I stream on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern. So, it has been a long week because I didn't get to stream with you all on Sunday. Uh, I traveled for work on Sunday and I really missed hanging out with you all and I'm excited to jump back into uh, the secrets of Shadow Ranch tonight. Um, so last Saturday we started that after we finished Danger on Deception Island um, which had like pff, twist ending didn't see that coming and so we started Shadow Ranch and um, Let's just say I I don't have a green thumb. Let's just say, uh, let's put that out there now. I don't have a green thumb. And I failed horribly at picking vegetables. SEO, buddy. <laughs> this cat. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I, I really failed at picking vegetables last week and got kicked out of the ranch. I don't even know how many times <laughs> I got kicked out. And um, we met the creepiest character in all of the Nancy Drew games that we've played thus far. Uh, the Wrangler. Tex, I think is his name. I'm, I'm very much like I'm almost convinced he's a serial killer. Just the way he talks was flying all over me wrong. Um, so this will be the tenth game that we're playing because we're going through them in order. After we finish this game, my goal is to I want to put together a rating of each of the games to find which one out of these ten is the best and which is the worst. So that is something that I'll be working on um, after this game so we'll see if we get there this weekend thanks for the like logan we'll see if we finish this weekend with that um and then we'll start that uh ranking good stuff good stuff so just as thank you logan for the reminder if you are tuning in be sure to hit the like the share the follow page uh turn on notifications and definitely drop me a note because i would love to say hi Ezio just ran out the door. He was so excited. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So let's go ahead and boot the game up and get started with this crazy story. If I remember correctly. Now, let me look at my notes. I think we were making a fire. Oh, yeah. We needed a... I wrote it down in my handy dandy notebook. And I needed to turn down the volume on. Dear Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. The Raleigh's, the people who own the ranch, have been called away. All right. Oh, <laughs> woo. Uh, so in my handy dandy notebook here, I wrote in, uh, thanks for the like, Bonnie. We needed to find some more eggs, uh, kindling for the fire, and then build the fire. And then I wrote in here, <laughs> I forgot I wrote this. Don't get murdered by Tex. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. <clears throat> so let's go check on some eggs <laughs> first and see what uh, what we've got going in. The coop. Yeah! Wait, how many do I have? How many do I need? Oh, I don't remember. Probably more. She didn't say anything like, I'm done. Mm -hmm. That was the crazy chicken's egg, too. That I got attacked by. Oh, look, kindling! I think it's kindling. 
I would I would call that kindling at least. And I'm a Girl Scout, so I should know that. <laughs> hmm. That horse is laughing at me. Isn't it? It is. That was where the bucket was. All right, let me just try this again. We have so a... far so good. Yeah. I need more kindling. Nancy, something goes here. You're killing me, Nancy. <clears throat> All right, where was there more paper? Or maybe she meant hay. Maybe hay. Hey, howdy, hey. I'd better take these eggs to Shorty before I drop them or something. She's not wrong. I should give him the eggs. Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Anything Thanks. I can do for you now? Do you think oh, I yeah. could get a canteen of water from you? Got one right here. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. All right, so we get to bake something, obviously. We already looked through that. Hey, you're crowding me here, Nancy. I need elbow room when I cook. Sorry. <laughs> beans for breakfast, beans for dinner. Beans for supper. Lord deliver us from that. Okay. This is a very niche audience that would appreciate that song. <laughs> oh, I meant to tell you guys I have a new button that I hope to use at some point. And if I. If we get halfway through and I haven't found the right moment to use it, I'll play it for you. Buttons. Oh yeah, we were gonna go check for hay, but I was making sure there wasn't any other paper. Hmm. Oh wait, what? What? Something goes here. Okay. Squares and the colors. Well, let me go look at this clock again. Cause I remember looking at it. Yeah, there were colors on it. Hmm. Hmm. The sheriff. Ooh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh man, I want to ding this thing, and I can't. Ding 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 ding. More kindling, I think. Um, some bank robbers from Denver were spotted in Tumbleweed isn't far from here. Jesus! Someone's gonna ding their head on it. I agree, it's kind of right there when you come out the door. Maybe we'll get to ring it later. Um, supposed to build a campfire, which means they need to find some tinder, something that burns easily. Like newspaper, kindling, something a little bigger, like dry sticks. All right, so maybe I have enough dry sticks now. Let's try it. Now. Oh. So far, so good. Hi, Carrie. Hmm. 
Beans I need more kindling. Oh my goodness, Nancy. You are killing me, Smalls. Got Beezus and Carrie in the house. Um, I don't know if you heard, but I have a new button that I can play at some point. But I was going to wait till we got a little further into the game. Before I debuted it. All right, I need more kindling. Kindling, kindling, kindling. If I were a stick, where would it be? Can I burn some tomatoes? Maybe, ta maybe, maybe. I mean, this property's not big enough for me to have to keep looking for sticks. No sense going in there without a horse to ride. Boo. Do you have sticks? Can I have some sticks? No? Okay. Like, I'm almost certain that I need some from over here, and I just can't walk over there. Why are you lighting up, phone? Hmm. I don't like this. The little bubbles that keep popping up on it, like I'm supposed to do something. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Let's try it now. So far, so good. That should do it. Ah! And then here you go, Nance. There, one extremely well-built campfire. That's actually if I do pretty say so good. Myself, you know. Great looking fire, Nancy. Nice job. Thank you. Um, so we needed to do chores to get a canteen, but then we need water in our canteen. How, how much do you think that's not in there? I need something to put the fire out. I need something to put the fire out. Uh, yes, Nancy, but... Yeah, I need water, girl. Where are you getting it? I don't remember seeing a pump out here. Lol, this one is interesting. I missed it. The game? This one, this game is interesting? Oh, come on. <laughs> Water. I just I want the sink. Can I get the sink? <laughs> okay. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, uh, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Okay, so the sink outside doesn't work. I can't use that sink and I haven't seen a pump and I can't ring the spell. Uh, let's ask what's his bucket. Hello, Nancy. <gasps> Something I can do for you? I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. I need water. How do I get water? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I've got to go talk to Tex. Ugh. Need something? Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. Okay. Why are we looking at this every time? What's his bucket? That bucket? Whoa! Anatomy of a horse hoof. Uh, raise your hand if you knew that horses had toes. <laughs> what? He has coffee. His bucket? His bucket head? Pink cattle supplement. Oh, so those weren't packing peanuts. <laughs> okay.
Uh, whoa. Oh, I thought she picked that up. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently she's gonna carry around a saddle. Oh, and I could pick up a hat. Okay. Hey, don't forget your girth. Oh, what's his bucket? <laughs> That's what I say when I can't remember his name. <laughs> What's his bucket? <laughs> oh! What? I gave myself a hint without realizing it? I don't want to lug this saddle around all day. Yes, I you should do, put Nance. it back. Okay, fine. Put it back. Wee wee! bucket out here right and does he have a bucket hello Nancy no something I can do for you I'll let you get back to work take care bucket. um Ezio's back come on buddy oh honey I know it's a lot of work for you to get up here come here get Ezio's rear end. Sorry. <laughs> you saying hi? <laughs> Don't chew on that. Buckets. I don't see any more buckets. I was calling what's his bucket because I. What? There's water in here? No. It's. <laughs> but when I asked him, he didn't give me any indication. <laughs> Ezio uh, does this specifically because he wants something. Not because he's trying to be cute. <clears throat> he wants to have food. So he'll chew on cords, poke at me, and not be a good kitty. Just sit. We already looked in there. Is there a bucket in here? What am I missing? I need something to put the fire out. What if I put the bucket in there? That was so dumb of me. Oh my gosh. <sighs> All right. We're nice and safe and ready for the fire. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. So we've picked the veggies, got some eggs, made a fire pit, and now I can go ride a horse let's see need something may i go riding now yep if you got <gasps> everything i told you you need and you think you know your stuff when it comes to horses old bob's all yours talk to you later no hurry i thought he was supposed to ask us questions like he made it sound like there was like a whole round of jeopardy involved and like you gotta get up on the mount Don't lose your clothes. Ezio? Child? Hold, please. <clears throat> so...
Come on, Bob. I hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, Lord. And he puts a thing over his mat. What? Ready for some questions. Oh, jeez. I'm going to do so bad at this. I think so. Where's a horse's hocks? Just below its knees. Nope. Ask me something else. Where's a horse's frog? On the bottom of its hoof. That's one out of ten. <laughs> oh, no! Ask me something else. How tall is a horse that's 15 hands? Five feet. Two out of ten. Got a <gasps> long way to go. Were you the one that had a... I did have a... It was Saturday. I had a horrible time with the veggies. <laughs> Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? A Paso Fino, um... A paint horse. Nope. Oh, no! <laughs> Thanks for the like, Heather. Ask me something else. How can you tell if a horse is colicking? Um, it's usually burping, right? It keeps burping. Nope. Oh, God. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A chestnut has black points. Nope. <laughs> Ask me something else. What tribe bred the first Appaloosas? That the one. Nez Pierce. Three down, seven to go. Ask <gasps> me something else. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? When it founders. It's back. Nope. Ask me something else. What part of the saddle should you always check before you head out on the trail? The cinch. That's four right. <gasps> Ask me something else. What is a mule? <laughs> um. Um. The offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. That's five. You're halfway there. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's hocks? Um, okay, this is one that I got wrong before. On its back legs. Bingo. Uh -huh. That was number six. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? I'm just gonna go straight in the list on this a one. A quarter horse. Nope. Oh, fuck. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? A draft horse. Nope. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? A gated horse. Seven down. You're in the whole oh. stretch. Ask me something else. How can you tell if a horse is colicking? It keeps lying down, then standing up. Eight right. Just two to go. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A chestnut is light brown. Nope. Ask me something else. <laughs> What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A bay is light brown. Nope. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A bay has black points. This here's your Apparently final not. question. <laughs> I'm ready. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? Its feet. Well, you answered all the <gasps> questions right. And I can tell by the way you sit, you ain't gonna go falling off for no good reason. So you're free to ride outside the corral. I don't know if Just I am. Don't go galloping all over the place. Because if you bring old Bob back all hot and sweaty, you can kiss your cowgirl days at Shadow Ranch goodbye. Says the serial killer behind a mask. Yeah, he was really lenient. I agree. Unlimited. Da -da -da -da. Okay. So we gotta go deliver this letter. Okay, Bob. What do you say we do some sightseeing? Letter delivery. Oh, that was easy. I thought we were gonna have to actually navigate. Okay. I'll take it. Snake Canyon? Uh, this place is got a lot of stuff. Hi, can I help you? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. I'm Mary Yazzie. I heard what happened last night. Tough break for the Raleigh's.
Getting that place going has been a real struggle for them. How did you hear about it? Word gets around. Here, I have something for you. Bet wanted me to give you this. Great. I want to buy a small piece of property from them. It must be their response. Bad news? They rejected my offer. Ooh. Well, I guess that's that. But as long as you're here, look around. All the jewelry you see, all the rugs, the beadwork, the pottery, they were all made by local artists, including yours truly. So if you want to know something, especially if you want to know how much something is, just ask. Oh, okay. I understand that you bought a trunk full of junk from the Raleigh's recently. Yeah, they didn't want much for it, so I took it off their hands. Problem is, I still don't know what's in it because I can't figure out how to open it. Oh? May I take a look at it? Sure, it's right over there. It was great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. I don't remember this character at all. Of course, this game I, I don't remember much about. I know I've said that about a lot of these games, but this one really isn't clicking with me. Um, hey, that's the book that was in the house. And it was autographed by Charlena Purcell. Romance novel, of course. Ooh, we can call her. Excellent. We love calling random people. All arrowheads in this shop were surface collected on private land. That's actually true. You're not supposed to take to dig up artifacts. Oh, whoa, what I do? Hey, this looks familiar. Help the roadrunner get to its hole before the coyote catches it. Oh. This doesn't bode well. <laughs> nope. Um, can I do this? Give him the run around here. Uh, maybe. <laughs> no, <laughs> I suck so much. <laughs> hmm. I feel like this is the right direction. Kind of fun. Never surrender. Yeah. By Grapthar's hammer. Juked them. Broke their ankles. Boom. Is that really how they sound? Oh god, there's more than one level? Oh. <laughs> Come get me, Kappas! I 
haven't actually watched the Cobra Kai show on Netflix. Oh no, how am I gonna do this one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think that's right. Um... Actually reset that. No! <laughs> you wily coyote! strategy. I'm going to follow this one again see what happens. I mean, it works, right? That was weird. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Cool. An old token or something. Dry Creek, one and a half cents merchants. Alrighty. Let's see what else she's got going in here. Petroglyphs. Haven't we heard about petroglyphs before? Petroglyphs. Um, that was in Scarlet Hand, right? Petroglyphs? There are estimated 30,000 petroglyphs. Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah. Petroglyphs are not to be confused with pictographs. Ooh, I wonder if that's where I'm going to get confused. Another form of rock art, painted on rock. Petroglyphs are part of the rock, which makes it difficult, if not impossible, to know for sure when they were carved. Hmm. Nor should they be confused with hieroglyphics. Whoa, that looks like an owl. People, yeah. Hmm. Bet this is the trunk she's talking about. That trunk looks really old. E A H A. E A H A. Hmm. Would you mind if I try to get this open? Please do. In fact, if you get it open, I'll let you keep something from it. You can have your pick. Okay, so this is like the three square holes that we found in the house that we have figured out yet either. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. Okay, okay. So we gotta find a key. Is that all that we can look at in here? I bet we go through that door. No. Dang. All right. Let's take Bob back. Good old Bob. <clears throat> I bet we have to feed Bob now, right? Good job, Bob. Whoop. Being a responsible horse rider. Whoa! Uh oh, I better put that back. Oh, Coco Craigle. Tex. 
Who is Jay Nash? From Phoenix. Oh, just open it, Nancy. What? Oh my gosh, Jay Nash is Texas' sister. Who's Jane Nash? Who's Jane Nash? Why do I not know who this is? You're still here? You sound surprised. You and your friends, if they ever show up, you ain't gonna last more than three days out here. Dude. First off, I've got a lot of problems with what you just said, but secondly, why do you have to say it like that? Um, I went to look and there were no pliers anymore. Well, I hope you like surprises, Tex, because you're in for one. City folk can't take living out here. Too rugged, too much work, too dangerous. Okay. Someone needs to shave that mustache off his face and change his attitude a little bit. I understand you have a sister named Jane Nash. So what if I do? I found a pretty nasty letter from someone named Jane Nash in the Raleigh's desk. That don't mean it was my sister. Hey, you've been snooping, haven't you? In the Raleigh stuff, in my stuff. Oh, <laughs> God, we're going to get killed. <laughs> I'm just very observant, that's all. My business ain't none of your business. And that includes any sisters I may or may not have. You need to go. I'm busy. Are you? It looks like you're just sitting over there picking your nose. See, the pliers aren't there now. And they're not in my inventory either. They're right here, though. Hmm. Someone's a little touchy. Well, he didn't say I had to feed the, the horses, so. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. I hope Nancy's armed or something to protect herself. <laughs> Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Have you ever met Mary Yazzie? Of course. Nice lady. I mean, for the most part. Gets real unfriendly when the subject of the Rowleys comes up. Do you know anything about the piece of property she's been trying to buy from the Rowleys? Well, I know she says she wants to buy it because she feels spiritually drawn to it. But I think she's got something up her sleeve. Oh, Nancy, it's great having you here. <laughs> I mean, I like to talk, you know? I like to converse, to debate, to discuss. Most people think I'm too nosy. You're not nosy. <laughs> Me neither. People like you and I are fascinated by the human condition, that's all. So, who else do you want to talk about? Uh, nobody really. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Nancy, get the tea! Why? Oh. All right, you guys ready for this new button? New button debut? Here comes the new button. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel. So now you don't have to hear me sing it. We need a key. Hmm. Hmm. 
just in case I missed something in here, I want to double check. That's the, uh-huh, yeah. Dang it. All right, let's call Bess and George because that's usually what gets me all stuck. Hi. Hello? Hey, Bess. Nancy, our link to the world of excitement and intrigue and decent food. What's the latest? Don't you think it's kind of odd how that rattlesnake showed up in the Raleigh's bedroom right after that phantom horse showed up outside? You don't buy that it was an unfortunate coincidence? I think it was more like a well-planned distraction. Hmm. So, you're saying someone used the horse to lure everyone outside, then put the snake in their room, knowing no one would be watching? It's possible, don't you think? But if you're right, it means someone wants to hurt Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. Oh my gosh! If you're right, it means that someone is on the ranch! And whoever it is must be working with an accomplice. You know, someone to wrangle the horse. So everyone there is a suspect. That's right. Well, you don't have to sound so happy about it. Hey, quit chewing on it. It's the out. Ugh. Stupid cat. The cook, Shorty Thurman, he says the phantom horse belonged to this outlaw named Dirk Valentine, who was hanged back in the 1880s. Is this Valentine guy a phantom too? Uh, I don't think so. Well, how come his horse got to become a phantom and he <laughs> Best? Phantoms don't really exist. She's asking okay. hard questions here. According we want to answer. legend, seeing the horse is bad luck. I believe it. I mean, look at what happened to the guy who owned him. I finally went for a trail ride. You went horseback riding? I rode to this store that this woman named Mary Yazzie owns. She seems to have a bit of an attitude problem when it comes to the Raleigh's. Apparently, she wants to buy some land from the Raleigh's that they don't want to sell. What's on the property? I don't know. I should probably call the Raleigh's and ask them. Good idea. And the sooner the better. That's it for now. Stay in touch. That's an order. Alright, so we'll do that. Actually, first let me adjust this music again. Oh, well, while I'm at it, I might as well save. Because we've learned that the hard way. Though there's no storms in my area today. Dear Hannah, well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. Um, oh, Raleigh's. Beep boop. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy again. Hi, Nancy. It's Nancy. <laughs> I can hear that. How is Mr. Raleigh doing? Let's get something straight right now. Even though we're Bess and George's oh. aunt and uncle and not yours, I want you to call us Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed too. Got that? All yes. right. Good. Now, what was the question? How is Mr. Ra I mean, Uncle Ed doing? Well, he's running a slight fever, so the doctors are a little concerned. Oh, I'm fine. They're going to keep him here overnight, just to make sure he isn't developing some kind of infection. Oh, but enough about us. How are you doing? I delivered that envelope to Mary Yazzie like you asked. She seemed a little upset when she read that you'd turned her down. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint her, but if we sell that property to her, it would send a signal to other would-be buyers that we're interested in selling the ranch off bit by bit, and we're not. What does she want the property for? I have no idea. The parcel she wants to buy is nowhere near her store, and there's nothing but rocks on it. Maybe someone else there at the ranch knows, but we sure don't. Hmm. Okay. I heard about the phantom horse. Was last night the first time it showed up? As far as I know, it was the strangest thing. Shorty kept babbling about how it was the ghost of the horse that belonged to some outlaw. Dirk Valentine? But that was right after Ed got himself bit, and we were all running around trying to get him into the truck to take him to the hospital, and I really mm. wasn't paying much attention. Do you have any idea where the horse came from? None whatsoever. 
She wants to know where that phantom horse <laughs> came from. I was hoping she could tell us. You're the detective, dear. If you want to snoop around and see what you can find out about that creature, by all means, please do. Why do you have a painting of Francis Humber? I just thought it would give the den some character, that's all. I found it in the tack room under a pile of junk. So the former owners left behind a lot of stuff? I swear, it's like no one who lived at Shadow Ranch ever bothered to take their things with them when they left. When we moved in, the place was literally full of junk. Ooh, what did you do with it? I sold most of it to Mary Yazzie. She gets a lot of antique collectors in her store. Some things I kept, like Francis's favorite recipes. And that ridiculous blanket chest. You insisted on keeping that. Oh, yes. And I kept that triangular-shaped chest in the den. It used to belong to Merrill Humber. He was Francis's father. Oh. And I figured since I was keeping that picture of Francis, it was only fair that I keep something of his. What kind of logic is that? Oh, hush. <laughs> it doesn't look like Bess and George are going to get here today. That's too bad. Why not? Their plane had to land in Omaha because of mechanical problems. They don't know when they'll be taking off. So, you'll have all those cowboys to yourself for a while. What? That Dave is pretty cute. What? Is she playing wingman from the hospital? Dave's okay, but Tex is a different story. That man scared the bejeepers out of me when he came in to interview. <laughs> but he kind of grows on you. And he takes real good care of the horses. I'll be in touch. Call us anytime. Hmm. Call the romance novelist? That would be this one? Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novels, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels... <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> that would be... a no. <laughs> Not really much from that. So let's go ask somebody about why... Well, I bet Shorty would know. Shorty! Miss Nancy, Aww. how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Come on, Shorty. What the heck? Um, well, hmm. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I'll let you get back to work. See you later. They just suggested go ask somebody, and now the one's going to talk. I doubt this is going to talk at all. Not that my family's any of your concern, but my sister did work for the Raleigh's back in Phoenix. She got fired, she got mad, but she's over it. Okay? Why didn't you tell me that before? Because it makes me look bad. I figured no one would ever find out, and when you did, I just got all flustered-like. Still don't like him. Are you and your sister very close? Nope. Fact is, my sister can be kind of a flake. I'd have probably fired her too. Hmm. Talk to you later. No hurry. I don't want to be too um accusational yet, you know. Accusatory? I don't remember the word I want to use. Well, you know what I mean. Um, okay, so I missed something at the store. Hmm. I mean, it'd be worth trying. I, I mean, I, I feel kind of stuck. Nancy's got her 
horse riding music going. Come on, Bob. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Hmm. <coughs> Alright, let's just double check in here. So we looked at the chest. We need a... It looks like a key. We looked through all of these. Yeah. Hi, Ezio is back. Dude, it is not even close to your time to... Oh! Tuning forks! Cool! Uh, I'm feeling we need those. FH? No, it was E A H A. That was on the that was on the chest. Petrified wood. Oh, takes four ingredients to petrify wood. Wood, water, mud, and time. Trees from the Jurassic period. 225 million years ago in swamps and alongside the streams eventually dried toppled over were carried carried downstream when those logs branches eventually stopped they buried under thick layers of mud and debris <clears throat> but if petrified wood is largely quartz and quartz is colorless why is petrified wood so colorful oxidation so this has Interesting. It has like the chemical names on it. So I'm wondering if maybe we need to remember that. I want to write these down. So we have iron. I'm having flashbacks to secrets can kill. <laughs> Copper. Magnes. Magne? Magnes. Not magnesium? And silica. Depending on their size, age, blah, 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 we'll change the... how much they cost. Okay. I got so excited about my coin, I, I missed all that. <laughs> okay, so let's ask her some Hi, questions. can I help you with something? Are there many petroglyphs around here? If you take the trail to Cougar Bend, there are hundreds. A lot of them were probably made by the Anasazi. They lived in the area until about 700 years ago, when they just suddenly picked up and left. Hmm. I won something that looks like a token when I played that game over there. What is it? They actually used those for something back in the 1880s, but I don't know what. It was great talking to you. Come in again. What about the tuning fork? What a beautiful horse. Hmm. Something goes here. I want to try the tuning forks, but how do I ask to borrow them? Maybe it's not the tuning forks. Hi, can I help you with something? Is that you riding that beautiful Palomino in the picture over there? That's my horse, Banner. I train him myself. 
What else can he do? Anything I ask. He and I are both pretty talented. Oh, okay. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Here is my inventory. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> oh, whoa, what's that? Oh! Thank you, Beezus. <laughs> Except I don't know the right combo. <laughs> Now we're cooking. Yes. So I figure... Let's take these back home because I have a feeling that I need to do the one in the corner to get the right combo. Oh, there's a new thing on the map. Oh, there's two new things on the map. Ooh. First things first. Let's go to Shadow Ranch first. And then go explore. New places! Oh, I know, I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanna, I wanna get this key thing first. <laughs> and I do wonder if we need to do something with the horse. <laughs> so excited. Need something? Nope. Talk to you later. Yahoo. <laughs> what? Yahoo. <laughs> He's like the Squidward of Shadow Ranch. Um... Okay, so let's go look at this again. There was colors associated with this. Right? Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Let's go look at the clock. Red, blue, yellow. Red is 12 o'clock. Blue... Now, it was a certain blue. It was that lighter blue, so chew. Excuse me, will you stop chewing on that? You're gonna get kicked out if you do that again. And the yellow is seven. So let's try. Red is 12. Blue is 2. Hmm. Hmm. 12. Is it the wrong blue? Let me go look at the blue again. Oh, that's the right blue. That's two. Maybe it's more of a 10 instead of a 12. Let's try that. Whoops. I feel like just existing noise text. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Oh my god, it scared me. Making sure I do this right. Okay, so that's 10. There's 2. And 7. No? What am I missing? Go get him. Jump him. 
Big cat coming through. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Doesn't look like it was ever opened. He sent me a text message. <laughs> You're not on too. <laughs> As usual, things did not work out like I planned. <gasps> just when I get everything fixed just right for you to go looking for the thing I hid for you, I go and get myself arrested. But no matter what you hear, nothing is gonna happen to me. I will be fine and we will be together soon, I promise. Meanwhile, you can keep busy by looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. They will tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites, start keeping them in mind too. I will leave a message for you in this here cell, just in case they decide to move me to the jail down in Tumbleweed or something. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites. I like the reading. That was helpful. As usual, no, 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 don't read it again. in your brain because when you are thinking real hard, like when you're playing the piano, you are more beautiful than anything in the world. I am sure to be out of here before you find my treasure, but in case I am not, know that it is all yours and that you are more precious to me than 10,000 treasures put together. 9, 12, 15, 22, 5, 25, 15 21 Dirk PS I do not and never will hold what your father did to me against you All right Um okay so I wrote down the numbers Oh Okay, yeah. You got an alphabet and letters and symbols. Okay. M H. Okay, we don't, uh, I guess that's her dad, that he was just, okay, mm-hmm, that Dirk was writing about. Merrill Humber. July 4th, 1882. Got sworn in as sheriff. It was the 4th, so it's like all them celebrations was for me, which of course they weren't. Francis thought up a song and played it on the piano for me. I forget how it went, but it was pretty. I'm lucky to have her for a daughter. Herford Shoup come by with a plant he brung from New York, which he calls Harrison's Yellow. Looked right dead to me, but Francis planted it out back, gave it some water, and already it looks to be on the mend. She's 17 and can read and write good and knows her numbers. Herford's thinking to marry her, but I said she ain't of that mind yet. March 30th, 1883. Francis has got eyes for a young man named Dirk. She says he's from Prescott. Cappy says when she plays the piano, this Dirk makes everyone be quiet so he can hear her good. I ain't never seen her smile like she smiles now. I told her to bring him to the ranch for dinner, but she says he won't come because he is too shy. I wonder if that is the truth. April 16th, 1883. <laughs> Got a letter from the sheriff over in Phoenix about this Dirk Valentine who was wanted for robbing two banks in a stagecoach. The picture with the letter looked just like Dirk who Francis is sweet on. 
When I showed her the picture, she got tearful and run off. Now, Dirk is gone, and she won't say nothing about where he went. Did they get a different voice actor between these? <laughs> They're all of a sudden very different. August 2nd, 1883. Dirk Valentine is robbing banks and coaches and trains all over the territory. Francis says he never ever shoots his gun and only steals from people that already got plenty of money. But that ain't true, because some of them trains he robbed was carrying money, meant to pay miners a hard-earned wages. He is nothing but a no-good, greedy outlaw. But Francis gets real mad when I say that. I fear she is still sweet on him, and that she sees him when she knows I am busy, and gets letters from him which she hides from me. September 9th, 1883. Got hold of a note Francis sent to Dirk, and saw what they was going to meet. So I got a posse and we caught Dirk, and now he's in jail. The judge is coming next week, and I hear he is a hanging judge, so Dirk most likely ain't long for this world. Frances won't say nothing to me no more, and says she never will again. Whoa. Family drama. September 13th, 1883. Dirk sends a secret letter to Frances, which Mason got hold of and gave to me. I locked it up so she won't ever read it. Uh -oh. Francis ain't allowed to see Dirk in jail, of course. And if she never sees his letter, maybe she will think he don't like her no more, and, and maybe she will stop liking him. Francis's ma would have known what to do better than me. I wish she was still alive. September 17th, 1883. They hung Dirk at noon. Jeez. I thought I would be glad, but I ain't. September 18th, 1883. Francis took Brownie in my big saddlebag and is gone. She ain't told no one where she's going, not even Cappy. But I know she will forget Dirk, and when she does, she will come home because she's a smart gal and will figure out that I, I did what I'd done for her. Jeez. Uh... January 4th, 1884. My sister says her little girl Ellie got a letter that said Francis went east and not of a mind to ever return. I hope this ain't the truth, because I miss her something awful. June 11th, 1884. The Harrison's yellow, which Francis said was her favorite flower in the world, is just a pile of brown sticks now. I don't know how to look after delicate things like that, so it is my fault that it died. He's, um... I ain't seen or heard from Francis in a year. I tell people she's on her way home, but when I look in my heart, I know this is a lie. She will never come back to Shadow Ranch, and it is my fault. And I'll just have to find a way to live with it. Oh my gosh! Depressing. Jeez, um... Huh. <sighs> okay. So let's try the author now. Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? Concerning? I'm staying at a ranch in central Arizona, and since she knows so much about the history of Arizona, I thought maybe she could answer some questions for me. Questions concerning? Well, I came across a very old trunk that might contain stuff that has to do with these people named Dirk Valentine and Francis Humber. Only I can't open it. Did you say Dirk Valentine? And his girlfriend, Francis Humber, yes. Ah. Oh, would you hold, please? Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlene oh Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novel, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels, it recently received the Catherine Coop Award for Historical Excellence. Reading a Charlene Purcell novel is like traveling through time to the Old Southwest on the wings of love. <laughs> Miss Charlene, who is this again? Uh, Nancy Drew? Tell me about the trunk you found. Well... Hi, Beth. Oh, 
The lock seems to have something to do with this image that's engraved on the trunk right above it. Describe the image. It's this kind of abstract design made up of hearts and doves and the initials E-H and A-H. E-H would be Eldridge Humber and A-H would be Abigail Humber, Francis Humber's grandparents. The picture oh. no doubt commemorates their wedding day, which was April 9th, 1811. Hold on. April 9th. Eighteen eleven. Okay. Those numbers must have something to do with the directions in which those wrenches need to be pointing. I'm afraid I wouldn't know. In the course of my research, I've only read about the trunks Merrill and Eldridge Humber handcrafted. I've never actually opened one. However, Ooh. I've been running across fascinating tidbits concerning the Humber family and stashing them away for years. When I have enough tidbits stashed away, I may well write a book about then you'd probably be very interested to know what's in this trunk. Oh boy. Yes, I would. And since I've helped you, or tried to, it's only fair that you help me, don't you think? Sure, <laughs> I'll keep you posted. Did I mention that I'm staying at Shadow Ranch? This just gets better and better. I'll tell my assistant to put your calls through immediately. <laughs> okay. By the way, why are you so interested in the Humbers? Knowing more about them and what happened in the past may help me figure out something that's going on in the present. I'm kind of a detective. That makes two of us. I'll be waiting to hear from you. <laughs> okay. So back Miss to the start? Nancy, yeah. how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Back to the store. Why is this exclamation point? Oh, because I have new things. Never mind. Let's get our saddle. Creepy man in the corner. Bob. Bob. Come on, Bob. All right, huh? after we go back to the store, Beezus, then we'll go explore. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna poke around over here. All right, so April 9th. 1811 let's start with the April part right like that's four three four and then nine and then let's try 11 I got the trunk open great <gasps> woo Go ahead and take something from it. You deserve a reward. Mm, but which do I want to take? Oh! I don't get a choice. If I want something else from the trunk, I should put back what I took before. I don't think I need that. No! If I want something else from the trunk, I should put back what I took before. Nancy? Uh, I don't I don't know. What is this? Yeah, open it. I wonder it. how you open this. You know how to open it, Nancy. This thing. Bingo! F H Francis Humber. She tore out the half of her dad. Green bottle under... Hmm. Hmm. Wonder what that means. Hmm. 
Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking to you. Catch you later. Oh, okay. So let's go riding. Maybe the trail stop first? Oh. This, uh, doesn't look good. Here lies Charlie, best mule, whatever lived, ever. Never kicked me or nothing. Rip. <laughs> January 1881. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's with the creepy music? Yeah, I feel like we know him so well after that. Oh, back it up, girl. Nope. Don't like that. The music is waking me out. Better not leave old Bob behind. Oh, I didn't realize I was. I think I'll let Bob do the walking. All right, Bob, let's go. Giddy up. Hey, that looks like the rocks. Oh. be here oh good she writes on it what there was another one that we saw oh over here so that's not right that goes there that goes there nailed it no Throwing hands up. That's what it looks like. Where was that again? Okay, so it's right there. how that looks. Nancy. The music is pretty fun. Hmm. What are we missing? Ooh, all the ones up there. Oh. Um, maybe? Nope, that's not right. Okay, so that one goes there. That one goes there. Hi, Spy Squirrel. <laughs> oh, I need a lasso? Oh boy. Okay. So we got our squirrelies over here. And then the birds in the middle. So that must mean the goats over here. Yep, 
it's so much fun. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Hmm. Hmm. So I can't... I can't get up there then without the lasso, it looks like. I'm gonna push save before I forget. Because I don't want that to get lost. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, Nance. All right, back to, uh, back to the ranch. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get yelled at, aren't I? Because I overworked the horse. Oh no! I hope so. <laughs> um, yeah, that was there. Need something? I need a rope. Do you think I could borrow yours? Nope. Uh, he's not very helpful. Do you know anything about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly hid for his sweetheart? Nope. Oh. <laughs> ah, somehow I knew you were going to say that. Ugh. Talk to you later. No hurry. Well, boo. Who else has a rope? What? what? Won't you be coming around the mountain when she goes? Oh my god, make it stop. You're late. I can't take any more. Where are you going? You can't leave. The Raleigh said we were to have a cookout and entertain our guest. Yeah, well, I don't call this entertainment. It's worse than whatever that stuff was you cooked. That was lamb ragu <laughs> for your information, and it was great. If you couldn't appreciate it, it's because your taste buds are about as sophisticated as a sand fleas. I think I'll turn in too. Night, ma'am. Next time, just stick to burgers. At two, Brute? You see that? You see what I put up with? Day in and day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful, uncultured swine. Well, I'll show them. What are we showing them? Cookbook. That's what I'll do. Then I'll get my own TV show. Then I'll do a movie. Oh. And while they're out here punching cattle, I'll become a gazillionaire. Punching cattle. Whoa! Oh gosh. Ooh, spooky. Shiny horse. I mean, it's just water. right after that phantom horse showed up again? The pump house blew just as the horse was galloping away. Oh my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. I'm more inclined to think that someone is using that horse to divert attention. What do you mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Why on earth would someone sabotage the pump house? Someone may be trying to chase you off the ranch. <laughs> but why? That I don't know. Yet. You don't think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do you? It's possible, but I just don't know yet. Oh, my. You might not be safe there. Maybe we should send her home. I'll be fine. Really, I want to help. And I can help. Well, it sounds like we could certainly use your help. Glowy pony time. I agree. I'm not sure how they would make it glow. I'm sure we'll find out. 
I hope we find out. Can you think of anyone who might have a grudge against you? No, but I'll tell you what. Ed and I will put our thinking caps on, and if anything comes to us, we'll call you. Have you called the sheriff and told him all this? Not yet. Tell her about the storm. Tell me about the what? The storms. You need to be careful when you go riding because it can be sunny one minute oh, and boy. pouring down rain the next. I'll be careful. Good. And if you have any more questions, just call. One more thing. Until I figure out what's going on, it would probably be a good idea not to mention my suspicions to anyone at the ranch. Of course. Keep in touch. I will. Bye. Alright. So... Let's call the sheriff. Hernandez. Hi, are you the sheriff? Yes, ma'am. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh, yeah? I spent a good part of last night out there. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. Is there something I can do for you? Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Um, what? <laughs> I guess we're not supposed to call them yet. That was weird. Um, let's see. Oh, Shorty's not here. Let's go look around. Yeah. Mineral deposits? Um, the two bunnies, Sunny June, Sunny June, jeez, <laughs> Rattlesnake Mine, huh, okay, Geological Survey and a phone number, did I save it? No. You know how I know it's a phone number? Because it's got a 555 in it. <laughs> 520 555 7395. Can I help you find something? Oh, shit. No, actually, I pretty much found everything on my own. For your information, I got those maps because I was hoping there might be a long lost gold mine or two around here. But like most of my get rich quick ideas, it didn't pan out. Apparently, there's no gold left in them thar hills. Or silver, or copper, or anything else. Now, I don't ever want to catch you in my stuff again. Excuse me, Shorty? Yes? I'd like to apologize. Just proves we're birds of a feather. I've been known to go poking through other people's stuff myself. Have you been out to the pump house? All the water to the ranch house has been cut off. The livestock will still get water from the windmills, but we humans are going to have to get every single drop of water we use from the faucet in the pump house. And that's going to be a royal pain. <laughs> Why can't that darn horse do its cursed thing somewhere else? You really think what happened to the pump house was the result of bad luck? I saw the pipe. It was rusted through. That's why it burst. That and bad vibes from that equine banshee. Got any chores you want me to do? Do exactly what you did for me yesterday and I'll be oh, forever God. grateful. Start by picking all the ripe stuff in the garden again. Baskets outside. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. You guys, I did so horrible the first time. Let's grab the basket and then I want to go look at the. Oh. I better not go in there until I call the <sighs> sheriff. Fine. Oh, where's well, supposed to bucket? Hmm. Not touching that chicken. Oh, we're not doing this part? Oh, I hate this part. Oh, no, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Need something? Has anyone tried going after that phantom horse when it appears? Nope. Always something else going on. 
Like Ed Raleigh getting snake bit or the pump house blowing up. Plus, that horse is fast. Probably couldn't catch it anyway. Why does he whisper so much? Talk to you later. No hurry. Yeah, um, maybe he got the long COVID. <laughs> Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? Would it be all right if I looked around in the pump house? Sure. I'm all done in there. Should I have my deputy take that sign down? Mind my asking why you want to look around? Wait a minute. Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Amateur detective. I don't know. Dave seemed to be real impressed with you. In more ways than one, I might add. Do you know most of the men who work at Shadow Ranch? I know them all. That doesn't mean I'm best buddies with them, but it's a pretty small world out here. Is this I've Alejandro? I've or known of those boys for years. And they're all stand-up guys, as far as you know? I vouch for every single one of them. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Ooh. Hmm, all the stuff's on the floor now. Oh, new angle. What? Wait, 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 wait. How did I get to that angle? Fart. How did I do that? Looks like the pipe was pretty badly corroded. Um, okay. I don't... Hmm. He's got the black lung pop. Alright, let's see if I get bit. Nope. Okay, cool. Just me doing an internet search. All right. Romano. Romano. Uh, beans on the left are under right. The beans in the middle are right. And the beans on the right are over right. So looking at our beans, they all look pretty right. Um, old ivory egg. White, when ripe. Okay, that kind of looks like this one. Beef stock. That's easy. Nope, nope. Black turtle. Turtle. Let's go to here. That is not what I click. Beans, beans, beans. Okay, so black turtle. It, yeah, okay, so dry bean. The paws of the beans are allowed to dry on the plants. In the picture above, the pod on the left is underripe pod, in the middle is ready, and the pods on the right. Or what's inside? What? Oh, okay. So they need to look dried up. Bleep, bleep. 
Blue. All right, let's go turn these in. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. I hope I don't get kicked out. There's more rap stuff out there than that. You bet there is. Oh, man. All right, so I wondered if the Golden Queen... Maybe that was the one I need to look up. Mer. Golden Queen. Orange yellow. I don't think those are orange yellow. talking about this one okay let's call it I'm doing it it's Taking so it hot in. i should get these vegetables into shorty right away pick those vegetables for me yet you betcha good for you Woo! now you just fill that egg basket for me again we'll be all set well i better get going come back soon it didn't take a thousand tries this time i think that calls for my new button Eggs, they're there. <laughs> yeah, I got that one. Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. I need you to do one more thing. Uh oh. It's Tex's birthday. The Raleigh's told me to make him a cake. Now, if I make it, he'll throw a fit. But if you make it, he might actually appreciate it. So why don't you dig a cake recipe out of the recipe box and have at it? I don't care when you make it, just so it's done by the end of the day. The icing's already made. Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Shadow Ranch cake. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of this so I don't forget. Alright. We need butter, eggs, milk, flour, baking powder, sugar, vanilla. Not complete without icing. And my marzipan flour. Okay. So let's go, uh, I'm assuming, into the fridge. Whoa, go back. I don't like how this cow is looking at me. Um, what am I missing? Not like I'm holding on to the stuff. Got that one. Ooh.
Hey, you're crowding me here, Nancy. No. I need elbow room when I cook. Sorry. Buddy, I need, uh, I need stuff. It appears not to let me take the cake card. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, I can take it. <laughs> First thing I'll need to make that cake is a mixing bowl. Cool. Nancy's got <laughs> one cup of butter. So one stick's half a cup, so we need two sticks. Um, and then I need two eggs. One, two, one and two thirds cup milk. One and two thirds cup. Okay, so everyone count. There's one. Two. Three. There's your one cup. And then there's one third. Two thirds. And then four cups of flour. Oh, God. Hey, Google. How many cups are in a pint? Okay, so that's two cups. Stop. And then baking powder. Oh, good. Hey, Google. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? One U.S. tablespoon is three U.S. teaspoons. There you go. We need three of these. <laughs> I think it'd be interesting to try. One third, two and one third cups, excuse me. Oh my God, I have to do these a lot. Two, three, all right, that's one cup. That's two cups. And one third. And then three teaspoons of vanilla. One. Two. Three. All right. Now what? Oh. Oh no. Ay, ay, ay. This doesn't say what kind of dish it's in. Oh, I don't want to have to make it again. No. Looks like I'm gonna have to guess how long to cook it and what temperature to use. Oh no. It's not cooked all the way through. I better bake it some more. It's not cooked all the way through. Ah! I better bake it some more. Oops. You accidentally set the oven on fire? <laughs> <laughs> 
I was baking a cake and I oh. guess I left it in too long. Does the oven still work? No, it's ruined. There's some smoke damage too. And by some, you mean... I mean, the walls and the ceiling are pretty much black now. Maybe you should let me talk to Shorty. Actually, when he saw what I'd done, he tore off his apron and went stomping out the door. I could be wrong, but he may have said something about <laughs> quitting. So what you're saying is, you destroyed my oven, severely damaged my kitchen, and caused my cook to quit? Uh, yeah. Sounds like three strikes to me. I'm afraid I have to agree. So as they say in baseball, Nancy, you're out. Shorty asked me to make the cake. It's kind of on him. Let's try a sheet cake. Looks like I'm gonna have to guess how long to cook it and what temperature to use. Nuts, I burned it. Well, back to the <laughs> drawing board. Hold on. I'm doing it again, second tip. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to guess how long to cook it and what temperature to use. It's not cooked all the way through. Nancy! I better make yeah! it some more. Oops. You accidentally set the oven on fire. No, make it I go faster. A cake and I guess I left it in too long. Does the oven still work? No, it's ruined. There's some smoke damage too. Do medium 45. Thumb, okay. Mean... I mean, the walls <laughs> and the ceiling are pretty much black now. Maybe you should let me talk to Shorty. Actually, when he saw what I'd done, he tore 45 off his apron minutes the first the time. Oh. I could be wrong, but he may have said something about. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So what you're saying for. is, you destroyed my oven, severely damaged my kitchen, and caused my cook to quit? Uh, yeah. Sounds like three strikes to me. I'm afraid I have to agree. So as they say in baseball, Nancy, you're out. <sighs> okay. Looks like I'm going to have to guess Medium. how long to cook it and what temperature to use. 45 minutes. Hey! Perfect. Yay! Thank you. Maybe I should try a little, <laughs> just to be sure. I should put that icing Shorty made on it. Right click to. Okay. What are these? I made you that flour Francis mentioned in her recipe. I cut all the pieces out of marzipan using her old forms, but I'll be darned if I can figure out how the pieces go. And you want me to do it? Um, I just want to eat this. I think I'm hungry. <laughs> um. Right, Desi? Get my cat butt in the face. <laughs> Bonk. It's a tulip. What's this? That's food coloring, so you can paint that marzipan flower. Uh, all right. Well, then let's do some here. And then there. Making it really hard to see, buddy. It wants more? All right. 
Miss Nancy. How may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. We did it! I'm pushing save right now. <laughs> we still need a rope. What other chores am I supposed to do? I think that was it. Um, okay. Where is what's his bucket? Someone's gotta have a rope. Need something? Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. Feed what? the chickens and the horses in the corral first. Could be fatal if you mess up, so don't. Talk to you later. No hurry. Could be fatal, but I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. Measure by pound into buckets. Bob, Tilly, oh, okay. Chicken, chow. Uh, okay. Let's take a picture of that. Two oat, one corn, one and a half mixed pellets for Bob and Tilly. That sounds like, okay, so looking at this. Again, they didn't label these. But we know that the pink stuff over here is the cattle supplement. And I think there was a book inside that told us more pictures related to each of these. So let me go see what, well, hold on, pellets, pellets. Hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a in the book pictures. I don't remember which city slicker book I need, but woo, go get it. <laughs> okay. Corn, soybean meal, oats, alfalfa. Um, okay. So, oats. Let me go back to my pictures real, real quick. So, we need oats, corn, and pellets. And we know the pellets are pretty distinctive. Corn. It's corn! Big lump of nuts. It's got the juice. Come on, everybody. We knew I was going to have to say it at some point. And oats look like that. What is chicken chow? All right, let's do this. It's Colin. Let's do the chickens first, because that seems like that would be easiest. Two scoops of chicken chow. <laughs> Does that look like chicken chow? I might be a chicken killer here in a moment. Ah! 
Okay, chickens, come and get it. Okay. How do I know I got it right? All right, let's do... Let's do Clyde and Dawn, which is three oats, one and a half mixed pellets. So like this was the mix, nope, that's not mixed pellets. That's mixed pellets. One and a half. pound. Yes, that's correct. One and a half pounds. And then three pounds of oats. Which should equal four and a half. Four and a half. And this goes to Clyde and Dawn. Clyde, who's Dawn? Hmm. Is it good? Would you tell me? Let's do, they're horrifying. Oh, I forgot. I forgot you don't like horses. I'm sorry, Carrie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's do Bob's. He gets two, <laughs> two oats, two pounds of oats. One pound. Two pounds. And then one pound of corn. Actually, let's do the one and a half mixed pellets. Why was that so much? That's so much. Okay, that's uh, that's enough of the pellets. Now I need corn. Corn. <gasps> corn. <laughs> so it was like two, and I need one more scoop of corn. Dinner time. Eat up, pony. Who's left? Ace. Ace? Okay. Hmm. Oh, come on, Nancy. Um, okay, so Ace gets one oat, one pound of oats. Mm -hmm. Half a pound of corn. Mm -hmm. And then three pounds of mixed pellets. So we were at. Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't think that's enough. It's not. I'm trying to look at the scale. So I need three pounds. So it should come out to be four and a half. Okay. Mm. 
There it is. Keep. And this is for Ace. All right, Ace. Eat up. I think we got everybody. And no one died. Need something? May I go riding now? Oh, Bob's all yours. I, I did set up it. some barrels and a sawhorse so you can do some barrel racing and practice roping. Whenever you're out there, I'll watch you and Bye. time you. If you get good enough, like say, you get your time below 10 seconds. And oh. if you can lasso the sawhorse, like say, four times out of five, I'll give you your very own lariat. You oh. can practice as much as you want whenever you want. Just don't go walking off with my rope, because I'll be watching. What are you going to do about it? Talk to you later. If you last that long. Oh my god. He's so dramatic. Alright, I'm saving it. Actually, now is probably a good time to... to call it. Because it's 8 o'clock. It's already time. Oh, goodness gracious. We finally got to ride a horse. I wasn't sure if we were going to get there at first. And I didn't mess up the vegetable picking. We're on it today. Yeah. Just for one more time for kicks and giggles. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. I'm a little annoyed at the lack of puzzles in this game so far. Uh, it's been a lot of choring. I want to do more puzzles. Thank you all for stopping by. Thanks, Spice Squirrel. Uh, I will be back again tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, you can also catch up on any of past streams on my Facebook and YouTube page. They're up there forever versus on Twitch is unfortunately limited to seven days. So if you're missed out, you can go check out some of the other places. So um, I hope that you all have a good rest of your Friday and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yolehihoo. <laughs>